can I say first how absolutely wonderful it is to see so many people here in Whitehall in, uh, spontaneously coming to demand that the new British government stands up for human and political rights and actually supports the peace activists who Israel has waged war on. In the middle of the night, at two o'clock, Israeli commandos, supported by Israeli warships and drones, which had been surrounding the flotilla of six boats, commandos were lowered by helicopter onto the main Turkish ship, Marie Mamara, and attacked the unarmed peace activists who bravely took on this mission. Why did they take on this mission? Because governments around the world repeatedly do absolutely nothing when Israel commits war crimes against the Palestinian people. We have had enough and those brave peace activists, including about 40 British subjects and people resident here in Britain, who have taken on the task of delivering much needed aid, both reconstruction materials, education materials, and medical aid to Gaza. They took this on because our government, the US government, the European Union, have been complicit in the illegal siege on Gaza for four years. of the activists have paid for their lives. These people, we don't know who they are yet. We hope that our friends, Sarah Colborn, Kevin Ovenden, Ismail Patel, and Nikki Henschmarsh, to know the ones that I, to name the ones I know personally, we hope they're safe. But we want all of them to be safe, all of the hundreds. And of course, there are dozens who are injured as well. We have to demand that our government takes immediate action. And it's no good just deploring what Israel has done. Thank you, William, for that small uh, 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 piece of news. What we want is for the British government to end all links with Israel until it ends its siege and occupation. the Liberal Democrats do before this coalition some of them were quite good at making speeches in support of the Palestinians let's demand that Nick Clegg comes out and absolutely calls on Cameron to end all relations with Israel in addition in addition to this demonstration there are demonstrations all over the country and uh, we've got tremendous support I noticed behind me the trade union the public and civil services union is here that's fantastic we know that the unite union which is meeting in Manchester today has issued a very strong statement in support of the convoy and against the Israeli government we applaud the unite union we also we also hope that the university and colleges union is in fact debating an emergency resolution this afternoon. We've got news of that in support of the people of Palestine and of course against what Israel has done. But what we have to do, as well as the march on the Israeli embassy, and those protests are going on around the world as we speak at embassies across Europe and America, as well as that, we have to say the campaign to make Israel a pariah state until it starts obeying international law, ends the siege and ends the occupation, is to take individual action, group action and mass action at every point. Boycott Israeli goods, boycott Israeli artists, boycott Israeli sports people and let's say to the people of Israel, if you believe in human rights and equality for all, then make your 
government stop its illegal occupation and its illegal siege on Gaza. We 